Hi class and welcome to week three of HSA 6103. So in this video I'll be going over the materials provided to you as well as the assignments that are due this week. Now I did my best to consider that you have your um, detailed outline due this week and I know this course is going by pretty quick. We're already on week three. So this week we are covering two chapters. So I tried to kind of minimize the amount of work even though I still know there's there's a lot to do this week but hopefully um, having only two chapters will be helpful. So as you can see we have the learning objectives that are listed for this week and the assignments that are due. So we have the national slash global health outline. I expect a very detailed outline. And remember, this is this outline is actually not going to be used for your paper since one is not due in this course, but you'll be using it for your video presentation. Now, <clears throat> I do want to make sure that you're all aware that in the assigned course projects content page in the student resources for HSA 6103 module, there are different um, samples for an outline, there's a grading rubric, so you get an idea of what I expect. So I am going to jump really quick. Here is the assigned course papers page. So if you haven't checked it out, make sure you check it out this week. And the sample outline I've included, you'll find it right here. And I actually already have it open. I just really want to quickly um, cover some of my expectations first. A clearly stated thesis, very important as you can see right here. Um, I expect in-text citations, as you can see this is an in-text citation. I do have a video on in-text citations or I think two videos in the assigned course projects as, um, content page. Make sure to check them out. In-text citations are a must. Everything you're reporting, most of it, is not of common knowledge. Even if you've seen it a lot or you still need to make sure that you cite it. Um, so make sure to do that. That way I know what sources were used for the information that you're presenting. All right. Um, I'm going to scroll a little further down. Remember, the more detailed your outline is, the easier it will be to put together your video presentation. I do expect a reference list following an APA writing style. You need to have at least five sources in your reference list for your outline. I think that pretty much covers it. I am going to jump back to the overview of the of week three content page for this week's module and continue reviewing what's going on this week. All right, so here we are. Again, you have two chapters that are assigned for reading, chapter six and chapter nine. You do have a quiz that's due this week. It's an essay formatted quiz. You can obviously use your textbook as well as your PowerPoint presentations. And the, S, the quiz covers chapters 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Now, as I scroll further down, you'll see the video lectures for the chapters covered this week, or assigned this week. And um, last is our to-do list. Make sure to complete everything before going on to week 4 of this course. Really quick, I'm going to jump to the content page with the chapter PowerPoints, as you can see them above. Here are the chapter PowerPoints for, for chapter 7, titled Health Services Financing, and then chapter 9 on man managed care and integrated organizations. So as you can see, we have um, the PowerPoint presentations, as well as the terms for the week. And below that is some information from the chapter. Since I have the video lectures, I'm not going to really go through it. So I'm going to scroll down and jump to videos for this week. 
Of course, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to let me know. That's what I'm here for. So the videos for this week for chapter six and nine, the first video is, is uh, on Medicaid. Below that covers healthcare terms and definitions. And then um, the third video here is titled HMOs, PPOs, and HDHPs. So it kind of gives you a deeper understanding on those terms. And then last is a video on accountable care organization trends in healthcare. Now, when you click the next button, you will be directed to the submission link for your outline. And after that, there is a link where you will find your essay formatted quiz attached. Once you've completed it, submission, submit it through that submission link. Those links are found in this week's module. All right. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Remember, you can email me or text me. I'm fine with either. Um, good luck, everyone, and take care.